On Holy Saturday last year, I completed a walk and talk pilgrimage, which took me from Brisbane to the Gold Coast. And I was all ready to start the Easter celebrations. This year is different. This year, instead of embarking on a similar pilgrimage, I've had to find other ways to prepare spiritually for Easter. And at moments, I felt somewhat stuck in a kind of limbo. I wonder if you have too. The tradition of the Church teaches that on this day, the day between the great suffering and sacrifice of Good Friday and the joyful wonder of Easter Day, something special happened. On Holy Saturday, parishes typically put back the furniture after it has been taken away on Monday Thursday and arrange flowers for the following day's Easter service. Priests also are putting their finishing touches to their Easter Day sermons. The day is often treated as a day of a bit of a limbo period between the days marked by the crucifixion and the resurrection. However, the Christian tradition says that Jesus was active in his love of humanity, even in his death, which is marked on Holy Saturday. For this is the day when Jesus harrows hell, setting free those in bondage there. The harrowing of hell literally means the breaking up of hell, like a harrow plough in a field breaks up the ground. The idea is articulated in the Apostles' Creed, where we speak of Jesus, who was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. This tradition tells us something we might need to hear, especially this year. God's love is always active, present and powerful. Christ stands in solidarity with us, even in death. At times recently we might have given assent with stubborn lips that we are all in this together, yet secretly we might feel isolated, left behind and left out. We need to know in our hearts that even in his death, Christ pursued humanity with his love. We might pause this day, but the hound of heaven is still in pursuit of us, even in hell, even in our own self-built hells. Christ is for us, always. Amen.